Hello everyone, today we're just going to give you a quick overview of how we actually wrap the items that we sell in our auctions. Here we have a J75, uh, it's going to have five pieces, the feeder, engine, interface, finisher, and a table that we have out in the warehouse. Um, because obviously the more pieces you have in a shipment, the higher the cost is, we like to try and compress things down as much as possible. We're going to have all of our uh, server components in the top tray, and then I'm going to have a box with all the cables, brackets, and screws and whatnot, and I'm gonna have them in the bottom tray there. Um, we like to make things, you know, as crush resistant as possible. So all of our pieces get corner boards, and then we also remove any side brackets or anything that'll stick out quite a ways. So we use just a basic shrink wrapping system. I always just try and find a starting point, which means any door that opens or um, support bar that I can wrap around. So I usually do what's called the two layer system, which means that every time I go over an area with shrink wrap, it should have at least two layers. So because the bottom usually is the first to hit, I'll actually give that a couple wraps, maybe three or four. And then I'll just go up, round and round we go. You learn to get over being dizzy very quickly. And once we get up to the top, I usually always include one of these sheets that just lists all pieces so we know what we're getting and if anything is missing. And we just go over the top a couple times. And you gotta make sure it sticks to the front very well, otherwise you'll peel it up a little bit. And just to make sure everything stays down, I'll go around it one more time. I'll get a box knife, trim that off, and it'll just stick right to the frame. And that's a wrap. We also can palletize things, which means it just sits on a pallet on the bottom. Uh, if you're going really long distance, like uh, international, we can also crate things, which means it gets a pallet base and then it gets plywood all around it so that nothing can even touch the machine. It'll just touch the crate around it. If you would like any of these options on auction machine you've purchased, please contact either Roger or Steve here at Printer Strategies.